Some of my absolute earliest memories are just stomach on the floor with crayons and, and paper. It's It's been the way I've communicated a very long time. I've always been um, interested in telling stories uh, and that is sometimes with words and sometimes it's visually and sometimes it's just a big mishmash of all of it. Every week we hit the road to tell the stories of the people, places, and events that make Hunt County great. These are our friends and our neighbors telling their own stories in their own words. Stories worth knowing and sharing. These are the stories that make us proud to call this place home. And around every corner, we find something else that makes us want to celebrate Hunt County. This program would not be possible without the support of our generous sponsors. Thank you. I don't have any memories that don't involve art. I love being able to do what I do. It feels amazing. I get to do what I have loved since I was a little girl. I get up in the morning, I have coffee, I get my two daughters off to school, and then I spend the day making stuff. And some days it's ridiculous. I draw unicorns and narwhals, and some days I paint darker, more serious things, but I love it. I, I spend my life in my imagination and taking everything in here and putting it out here, and then I share it with people. And, and most of the time I hear back from people that they like it and what it means to them and what life Layers of, of stories they have added to it and sometimes it's helpful in people's lives sometimes it's just a fun thing to look at but I love that I, I feel extremely fortunate to get to make art all the time and share it with people what I find most rewarding about being an artist in particular when it comes to my cartooning work is I like sharing just some happiness with people you know life can be hard we have rough days and if I can offer even just a, a moment of levity or a little moment of joy, that means a lot to me. It's a moment of connection with somebody out there. A lot of my audience I know, a lot of people I don't. They're just around the world and they let me know they enjoy my comic strip and things like that. And it makes me really happy to hear that. And I think if you, you actively go out and you seek out joy and you look for those moments where you're stockpiling that happiness, it adds up. And maybe just reading my comic strip makes you happy for a second. But if, if you seek out those moments, that happiness accumulates and it, it just makes your life better. One thing I hope to do with um, my local mural project in particular, the title of the mural is UBU, and it's in downtown Greenville. And I, I, working with a lot of young kids, I've noticed that you know everybody feels like they need to conform. Everybody wants to be just like everybody else. And I think that's a normal developmental stage for most people, but I really would like to encourage young people to really embrace what they offer that's unique, because I really believe that what whatever you have in you, that call to do something, especially if it's a little weird or different or unique, that's usually the most interesting thing about a person, and that's usually the gift you can give to the world. You know, that's usually not what everybody else is doing. So I really want people to just accept what they feel called to do and go do it. You really have something to offer the world when you do that. The art I currently have on exhibit at the Texan is my fall country classic series. I have a variety of beloved country music icons doing fun themed fall things, whether it's going to the pumpkin patch or picking apples or having a cozy night in at home. It made me smile to think of that. My studio is a big metal building and I have a couple of different rooms. I have a Halloween room. I love Halloween. I used to make a lot more Halloween products, but now I just enjoy Halloween year round in here. I have a fiesta room. I've always really liked Mexican folk art. Uh, there is another room called the Arabian Nights Room. I was always fascinated by the tale of Scheherazade and the Thousand and One Nights where she would have to tell the Sultan a, a new story every night or he would maybe murder her by the morning if he didn't like her story. So I created a ton of lanterns and they all kind of have stained glass panels that I printed out of pictures from art history, a lot of things from the 1920s of, of a lot of Middle Eastern art that represent each story I imagine she would tell them. So all the panels have different little stories that hang. And the bed swings, I kind of liked it like a, a floating carpet. I always thought of it being like a floating carpet. So this is kind of my fun area to just go wild and decorate how I want. I think, you know, in most people's houses, this might be a little much, but it makes me happy, so. I am Laura Ergang and I celebrate Hunt County. If you liked this story, help us celebrate by sharing it with your friends and family. Our stories appear on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and cable TV on Juice 34. 
You can also find us online at CelebrateHuntCounty.com. If you'd like to suggest someone to feature in our program, email your idea to stories at CelebrateHuntCounty.com. We also want to thank our sponsors for making our storytelling possible. We hope you'll support the hometown businesses that keep Hunt County strong. Family is very important to us, and that's why we wanted to bring family to our business. We tell folks that at Home Texas Real Estate, we work as a team, and we're all working together to try to sell your house, or we're all working together to help you find the right one that you want to buy. With At Home Texas Real Estate, it's our family helping your family.